Now you come behind with these marshmallows. Got my Nutella jar. Only a little bit left, okay? But guess what, guys? Waste not, want not. I grab my milk. Whole milk. You don't have to use whole. You could use half, quarter, up to you. Fine. Now, give that a little swirl around. <laughs> and pour it back in. That's just to measure the amount, actually. It's about a cup. Right, because it's not going to wash away any of the Nutella, so that's still in there. Now I got to heat this up. Oh, look at the bubbles. My boy's boiling. So now we come in hot and watch what happens. You, you get in there, you see the steam, right? And that's going to now begin to melt everything in there. So guys, here's what you do. You seal this bad boy up. You have to shake like crazy. Now let's give this a shake. Can I do it? Oh Lord, oh Lord. <laughs> you know, shake hard enough to mix it up, but not hard enough for the cover to drop off. <laughs> let's see what my boy's up to. Perfecto, perfecto. Guys, the queen. Now you come behind with these marshmallows. I love the pink ones more than the green. I like the pink ones. What's the green for? Like Christmas or something? Now we come over the top with some of these chocolate sprinkles. These niblets. A little bit, you know what I mean? And there you have it! Nutella jar hot chocolate! Beautiful. You can put a straw in this, right? If you want it. But you don't sip hot chocolate with straws, guys. You know what I mean? So you gotta go all in. See this little, this little, yeah, see that's my little access point. Infiltration. Maybe two. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Chocolate high. Mm. Woo! Stay delicious, homeboy. This is good stuff. Now we got our little pepperoni thingies. A little mini peps. Pizza cupcakes, homeboy. So we got our little pizza pan. It's not a pizza pan. Okay, so the cupcake pan. We put the pizzas in. Okay, I gotta open these. We got these crescent things again, okay guys? Y'all saw us use these a couple of times. Oh, snap, I'm getting better at it. So here's what we are doing. We're giving this a nice little spray. Notice the wrist. Okay, you don't see Gordon Ramsay, Mark Stewart, them doing that. Get it in the wrist. Now, I need a nice little square. Hold on, my squares might be a little off. It's got a perforated edge in there, so you wanna be careful with it. And then you just stick that in there like that. How's that bad boy look? Guys, next we hit it with some mozzarella, okay? Just a little salt bay, but mozzarella style. This fun, like this can't taste bad. I hope you all can see that. Like the things we make, it's just impossible to taste bad, no matter how much you butcher the recipe. Okay? Now you can completely not know what you're doing and still pull this off. Don't look at me like that. Alright, now we come behind with our little pizza sauce. Little dollop there. Dollop there. So guys, now we come behind with more mozzarella. Just a tingling. Just a little tingling. That's, that's my measurements. I my own measurements. A tingling. 20 years from now, be some famous chef somewhere going, just using a tingling. And then we'll introduce it first. Now we got our little pepperoni thingies. Our little mini peps. 
Now we have our Italian seasoning, okay? Hit it with a little Tony Soprano. Now guys, we can stick this in the oven for 15 minutes, see how this works out, okay? 375 degrees! Oven just went off, put on my lobsters, and let's do this. Okay, guys, it's still hot, so you shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna. Because that one's cute. And there you have it pizza cupcakes. Guys, these still hot? Hot cheese? Pizza is the worst thing to be thrown in your mouth. Well, I'm a real man, okay? The time men man up. Ow! 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 Guys, it is super delicious. Let the pizza sauce cool though, okay? Because it's not cheese that burnt me, it's the sauce, okay? That red right there, that might not even be pizza sauce. That's just my skin, all right? It's really, really hot, but it's so good. <sighs> it's dumb, but it's delicious. Stay delicious, friends, stay delicious. Watch the swirl, watch the swirl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's busy. Look at the vortex, look at the vortex. I love that, I love that. Okay, homeboy, we begin with pink lemonade. This is a summertime sangria punch sent to us by Stephanie Haynes. Hey, Steph, what's up, girl? Something like that. Mm. We can hit this with some Malibu. That's a handle, okay? That's 1.75 liters. For those of you who don't know, that's what a handle is. I don't think the original recipe calls for this much. So, Steph, we have to modify your, your punch because you sent us a recipe for a smaller bowl, and this is a pretty big bowl. So, we had to add in more booze, okay? Now, homeboy, we come in behind that with fresh lemon slices. Oh, make it rain. Pink lemonade. Okay, but now strawberries, because strawberries complement lemons. Lemon and strawberries. Okay. Steph, let's get some. We got Arbor Miss Mango Strawberry Moscato. Wait, it's not a cork? I thought it was a cork. You know what using cork no more, no? Cork is old school. Watch the swirl, watch the swirl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's busy. Look at the vortex. Look at the vortex. I love that. I love that. That's our signature right now. The little vortex. I think I could swirl two at once. No. But it wouldn't have to try, right? Don't break anything. How would I do this, though? No. Did you see it, homeboy? You come over the top of that, get some of our lemon lime soda, okay? It's like our little mixer. Lemon lime soda! Oh yeah. Why are you pouring so slowly? You want me to swirl this too? No, I just want you to be quicker. The reason why I'm doing this like this is because I want, I want to create a little gradient. I don't want this to like really mix in. I want that separation, you see? So, so I, I was hoping that this kind of stayed more towards the top. So you could end up with a nice, like, pink, red bottom. Think there's enough soda now? No, just keep going. Are we going all in with the soda? Yeah, as well. And there you have it, the summertime sangria punch by my girl, Stephanie Haynes. Steph, I love what you did here and it's beautiful, and we're not gonna stir it. We're gonna drink it as is, and you don't drink and drive, and you always drink responsibly. Okay, start your own risk. Later.